Good morning, Kristen. If you get dumped by the hot chick, do you never date a hot chick again? If you brush your teeth twice a day and you get a cavity, do you never brush your teeth again? Of course not. Those ideas are about as stupid as if you invest money in a house and you lose some money, do you never buy a house again? But that's exactly what the idiots at Time Magazine are saying you should do. Never buy a house again. This saying because so many people lost so much money over the last five years, you shouldn't buy a house. Because that we're now a mobile society that we need to move often for our jobs, that we shouldn't buy a house. Instead of throwing the baby out with the bathwater, why don't we try to learn something from what just happened? Why don't we try to learn housing bubbles happen? If you can't afford to put money down on a house, maybe you shouldn't be taking out a new mortgage. If you sell a house with equity in it, instead of buying a bunch of new toys and going to take another 30 year mortgage you know money down, why don't you reinvest the equity into your next house? Our system of home ownership is not broken. Our consumerism at all costs, keeping ahead of the Joneses, that's what needed to be shocked back into place and hopefully that's what happened over the last few years. This is not the first housing bubble and it's not going to be last. Instead of having the Time Magazine, the sky is falling mentality, let's take a look at home ownership long term. Our home is a place to keep us safe from the elements. Our home is a place to raise our kids. Our home is a place that's going to go up in value 3 to 4% per year long term. What our home is not is a cash machine, an ATM that we can take out $30,000, dollars $50,000 every few years to buy ourselves new toys. When we get our mindset right again, home ownership is a great idea for those who can truly afford it. Kristen, I'll see you tomorrow.